All right, thanks. Hey, I'm Tyler. I'm here at the Niners Bikes booth at Sea Otter 2019, and behind me is the upcoming MCR, which stands for Magic Carpet Ride, meaning like when you're cruising along on a really rough gravel road, a lot of you know those breaking bumps and the, that chatter, you're just going to be floating over it. That's the theory. So the way they're accomplishing that is a revised version of their CVA suspension. CVA is uh, what they've used on all their mountain bikes ever since the get-go for their full suspension ones. This is a gravel tuned version of it. So the linkages are going to look similar. The shock placement is a little bit different in that it sits behind the seat tube. But what that's letting them do is get uh, 50 millimeters of travel in the rear and you can lock that out. The fork up front is going to be the Fox AX probably. So the actual parts spec on these is subject to change, but they have cut the molds from what I understand. So the look and feel of it right now is the same. The carbon layup is still being refined to get the ride quality they want out of it. The shock tune is still being revised to get it really, really smooth. So on this one, they say it's like, it's okay if you're using all the travel and it's not really gonna be tuned probably to be super progressive at the end. Like you're not gonna be hucking off of stuff. So it doesn't need to have that huge bottom out support, meaning it should be super cush over the stuff. Now, if you're hammering along on pavement, there's gonna be a lockout switch. And so we can take a look at some of the details here. You're gonna have the lockout switch here. So if you're riding on the tops, you know, you can do that, lock it out and then just keep plugging along. You know, if you have a dropper post, this is one option for the lever on the dropper. So you're riding along, you know, you've got super easy to reach all the features on it. Um, the Fox AX is 40 millimeters of travel. So there's a little bit more travel at the rear. Um, everything runs internal on this. It's able to be run as a two by or a one by. So you can see it's got the two by Ultegra RX system on here. You could very easily run a one by with a wide range cassette if that's more your style. Another cool little thing is this rear fender. So you can see here the derailleur, it doesn't have a problem with it, but this little removable tab here means, you know, no matter what front derailleur you use, you'll be able to pop that out and it has just a notch to make it work. And then you've got this little tail fin here that can pop out. And so if you just want less coverage for some reason, and they're also probably gonna offer a more full coverage that'll mount. So you got mounts back here that you can use. You've got three water bottle mounts here, here, and here. Then what's cool is you got frame mounts up under here and bento balance mounts on top. So you can literally pack just about anything you want onto this bike. And if you notice for a full suspension bike, what's unique by putting the shock back there, you have wide open front triangle. So you can run a full size frame bag on this for bike bagging. So it's a pretty cool timeline is like an official announcement, probably September, maybe October. And their goal is to have it out by the end of the year.